Hi there. Now in this question, we're working with the roots of this cubic equation here. And it's also going to be based around working with complex numbers. So if you'd like to have a go at this question, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, you can check your methods and working against mine. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Now, for the first part here, we've got to write down the third root of this equation. And we know two of the roots, 2 and 1 minus 5i. Being a cubic equation, it's obviously going to have three roots. And if one of those roots is a complex number, the other root will be the complex conjugate of it. OK, roots always occur in conjugate pairs. So... For part A, the other root is going to be 1 plus 5i. Now, if you're unsure of this idea about conjugate pairs for a solution to a polynomial equation, do check out my videos on my website for that. OK, now in part B, we've got to find the value of P and the value of Q for this equation. So if I just take down the left-hand side of it, let's just write that out first of all. We've got x cubed plus px squared plus 30x plus q. And we know that if we have, say, x is equal to 2, then x minus 2 would be a factor. So we've got x minus 2 here. And... Again, if x was equal to 1 minus 5i, then x minus that complex number would be a factor. So x minus, in brackets here, 1 minus 5i. And similarly, if I take this as a root, then we know that x minus 1 plus 5i would also be a factor. And what I'm going to do now is just expand this and compare it with what we've got here on the left-hand side. And I should be able to compare it and get my values for P and Q. So if we work down through here, let's just leave the X minus 2 alone. And then for expanding this, we've just got X times X, which is X squared. And then if I just expand x with the minus 1 plus 5i, we're going to get minus x, and then we're going to get minus 5xi. And then after that, let's just take this x here, multiply with minus 1 minus 5i. So you're going to get minus x, and then you've got minus minus here, that's plus 5i, times it with the x, so you get plus 5xi. And then when I multiply these two terms in the brackets here, we're going to have a positive value. I'll just write out 1 minus 5i times 1 plus 5i. We'll just come to that in a moment. OK, so we've got still the x minus 2 at the front here. And then we've got the x squared. That's the only one we've got on the x squared. We've got minus x minus another x. That's minus 2x. These two terms cancel out. And so when we expand these two out, we're just going to get 1 times 1, which is 1. It's basically the difference of two squares here. So you're going to get 5i minus 5i. So that disappears. And then you've got minus 25i squared. So that's going to give you plus 25, knowing that i squared is minus 1. So we've therefore got that this is identical to x minus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 26. And if I expand this out, we're going to get a cubic polynomial. x times x squared is x cubed. Then as far as the x squared terms go, we're going to get minus 2x squared here. And we've got another minus 2x squared there, so that's minus 4x squared x terms then we're going to get 26x and then plus 4x that's plus 30x and then you've got minus 2 times the 26 which is minus 52 and so when i compare this then to what we've got up here i can see that p the coefficient of x squared 
is going to be minus 4. And Q is the constant on the end, which is minus 52. So there's our values for P and Q. Now in the last part, we've just got to show the roots on an argon diagram. So let's just draw our axis. We've got our imaginary axis and our real axis. And of those roots, we've got two. That's the only real root. So if I draw that on, it's going to be something like this, extending out to two. Some people do dots there, but I prefer drawing lines, okay, for roots. It's up to you. That means that one would be here, and the other two roots are at 1 plus 5i and 1 minus 5i. So if I was to mark, say, 5 up there and minus 5 down there, then those complex roots can be shown as 1 plus 5i, something like that, and 1 minus 5i be something like that. These two being reflections of one another in the real axis here. Okay, so let's give you some idea then on how to do that question.